Hi, James here from Wiggle, and today we're going to be having a first look at the new and improved formula UFO Drip from Ceramic Speed. So the Danish company Ceramic Speed were originally known for making the highest quality bike bearings out there, as well as being the fastest. The company and the products they make have grown massively and they were really only available for the Pro Peloton, but nowadays any cycling enthusiast can get their hands on them. You may remember a few years ago they released the UFO Drip and now we have here the new and improved formula. So one of the amazing things about Ceramic Speed is that they spend so long testing the products out and the original Drip had over 1,400 hours of lab testing which just goes to show how much time they go into to getting the best result. So the new UFO Drip like the last one isn't like your normal lube, it's made with a concoction of about 10 different components and these are a blend of wax, trace oils and friction modifiers. So this is far from the gloopy oil lubricants that you used to using before and is much more similar to a wax lube and is applied in a very similar method too. And we'll go into how to apply it properly later, but let's have a look at some of the improvements in this new formula. So other than the fact it now comes in a round bottle, there's a lot of improvements to the drip and now in good weather conditions it lasts for 300k per coating, which is about 100k more than the old one. If you use it sparingly, you should get about 35 coatings for your chain out of each bottle. So if you're lucky enough to ride in perfect weather conditions all the time, then this is going to be more than 10,000 Ks worth of chain coating. So the new and improved formula has allowed this new drip coating to run 15% quicker than the original one. As Ceramic Speed have their own labs, they're able to test it against all the other top performing chain lubes out there. And they say that this is actually the fastest chain lube available in the world. Here's a graph to show their five hour lubricant test against all the other top competition out there. So the new formula is now non-toxic, non-flammable, and most importantly, it's now biodegradable. So it's just nice to know that when you buy this, you'll be doing that tiny bit less damage than you were to the world before. So the UFO drip is a very thin liquid formula and it's like that for a reason, as when you apply it to the chain, it gets into all the nooks and crannies in the rollers, so you get a really good application. The original formula needed to be applied at room temperature or higher or else it would come out too viscous and thick and wouldn't work as efficiently. This new formula just has increased temperature stability so you can apply it from anywhere from 5 to 35 degrees Celsius. So it's much easier to apply if you keep it in a shed for example as you won't have to bring it indoors to warm it up before applying it. So you may think with all these improvements and it being the fastest chain coating in the industry that it will be more expensive but big surprise it's actually 40% cheaper than the old one. So let's go over the best way to apply the new formula to your chain for the best longevity and performance. So first of all, you wanna make sure that your drivetrain is as clean and degreased as possible. Take the chain off and degrease it as well as you can until it's completely bone dry. We'd recommend doing this even with a new chain as this comes with an oil-based coating. Having a completely dry chain is just gonna allow the UFO drips wax base to adhere to the method of the chain as well as possible. So now with the clean chain back on your bike, you're ready to apply the UFO drip. Before applying, you wanna make sure you shake the bottle to make sure all the wax components are blended up in the bottle evenly. You'll notice that you hear an agitator inside the bottle and this is there just to help everything mix up together. So with your well shaken bottle, you wanna apply it just above the cassette. This will catch any excess that goes dripping through the chain. Look for a quick link or a master pin and then start there and then do two full coatings of the chain, turning the cranks backwards. If you don't have a quick link, then roughly eight to 10 seconds of pouring should do the trick. Once you've applied it, carry on turning the cranks backwards for another 20 to 30 seconds this is just going to help the formula get into all the rollers and links of the chain properly. You'll notice when you apply it, it actually comes out as a very thin liquid and you've got to let this dry for a good eight hours, so best to leave it overnight. Once you've left it overnight, you'll have a nice dry surface, which means it's ready to go. The great thing about the dry finish is that it doesn't pick up all the contamination from where you're riding. This means that your chain stays clean for so much longer and it makes it a really good choice for all disciplines of riding. And it also means you don't get that horrible accidental oily chain mark on your socks and calf. Reapplying it's really easy too, as it's such a clean chain loop, all you have to do is really wipe it down with a cloth and reapply. So I'm interested to know what's your go-to chain loop and whether you'll be given the new formula UFO drip a go yourself. What do you think to it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.